Welcome, 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 welcome back to this week's cast of Revelation on the Word. I'm Pastor Rico Clayton. This is Greater Revelation Church. We're located here at 4473 Adams here on the Kansas City, Kansas side. I want to say what's up to everybody. Welcome, y'all. We welcome in. Come on in. Come in here and holler at me, man. Look, God is good all the time, amen. And I'm not saying it because it's a phrase to say. I'm saying it because it's really happening and manifesting in my life. Hallelujah. Check this out, man. In about a few more days, Thursday, which is the greatest day on the planet, January 17th, I will be 52 years old. Let me say 52 years young, amen, because I'm feeling good, man. Health is good. Got a real good, Got finally got control over my blood pressure. Just excited, man. The Chiefs won yesterday, man. Things are just good, man. We're on our way to the AFC Championship. I want to say what's up to my Greater Revelation family, my uh, church connection down in Houston, Texas. Uh, to all my Facebook family, what's up, Facebook? Look, y'all come on in here because it's going down today. I want to talk about real briefly, greeting you all in the name of Jesus. I want to talk about real briefly, if you're not getting what you want out of life, if you've gotten to an age where you're in your 30s, your 40s, 50s, 60s, and you feel like, man, I, I'm just not getting what I want. It isn't about what you're going after. Goals that you set that you're trying to attain. It's not about you married the wrong person. It's not about you with the wrong person. It all comes down to one simple concept. If we're not seeking the kingdom, and I'm not a Bible basher, I'm not a, I'm just a firm believer. Matter of fact, let me give you the word. The Bible declares in the Gospel according to Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, Jesus says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all the stuff you've been searching for, I truly believe will come and hunt you down, man. I am a firm believer of that. And now that I'm really locked on to God, it's like favor just chases me down. Ah, man, look, I, I can't even explain what's going on with me. All I know is that things are happening. Uh, th I'm taking off like a rocket. I... It ain't me. Oh, I'm telling you the result of seeking the kingdom. And I, I'm telling you, if you become a kingdom seeker, because let's be honest, you know, you can acquire the big house, and once you get it, you figure out, hey, you know, I got it, but I'm a slave to it, because now I'm just trying to pay this mortgage and keep, you know, unless you're just rich. But what I'm saying, I'm talking to normal people. Once you get the big house, the big car, the big car note, you know, yeah, I got the 2017 Escalade, but hell, I got to... Escalate payment to go with it. So I'm not fooling anybody. We're all trying to make it. Amen, somebody. But what I'm saying is that the things that are really valuable, because you can't put a price on friendship, can't put a price on your family, the ones you love, can't put price on health. So the things that really matter come from seeking out the kingdom. Man, I'm just a firm believer in that. And man, when you really, because really when you're not seeking the kingdom, and I'm not saying you can't get in the world and function. There's people that are going to go to the playoffs and go to the Super Bowl that aren't even thinking about God. But you better believe they're stressing in some areas. I don't care how wealthy they are. I don't care how celebrity they are. They are stressed to the max. One thing about seeking the kingdom of God, and I'm here to tell you people of God that are listening under my voice, that when you really start seeking God, Things start smoothing out. And I'm going to be honest with you. That real favor start resting on your life. I'm talking about super duper favor. I'm talking about folk coming up and handing you a check favor. I'm talking about, hey, man, it's my birthday and broke slapping money in my hand favor. I'm talking about, man, look, I just got to check out a note. I mean, things just start happening. Because if you're seeking God, he can't help but add to you. And if you're busy doing God's work, he's going to take care of all your stuff anyway. That's really how I feel about it. Now, I know everybody's not called to preach and not everybody's called to be an evangelist and these and other things. But I'm telling you, Matthew 16, Matthew 6, 33, what Jesus was talking about. If you seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, favor's going to follow you, man. I'm telling you, and stuff going to come hunt you down because your boy is on. Not bragging. I'm telling you, I'm living it. As my friend Bishop Eric D. Morrison used to always say, I'm walking in it. I'm walking in it. Amen, somebody. That's all I got for y'all this week. Y'all know I'm on love. Can't get off. 
Today I'm preaching, I'm so sensitive and in my feelings. That's what I'm preaching today. I'm sensitive and I'm all in my feelings. Y'all need to come out and holler at your boy, man. It's popping today, man. Go Chiefs! See y'all next week.